In this video, we're going to talk about raising verbs. So what's a raising verb? Well, to understand what a raising verb is, we should take a look at this sentence, take a look at the verbs inside, and then ask ourselves about the theta roles. So John happened to produce the film. So let's take a look at the verb produce first. What do we know about the theta grid for produce? Well, it takes an agent and it takes a theme. So someone produces something. So when we think about it, if we remember our VP internal subject hypothesis, we have to have someone right before produce in order to get a theta role from produce to be the agent. Now, in this sentence, John happened to produce the film. Who is the person who's producing the film? It's John. John is the person producing it. So really, John happened to be here at some point. But the question is, how was he there when there's another main verb happened in the way? Well, let's take a look at the theta grid for happened. And this is a very special theta grid because it doesn't have a theta role for a subject. There is nothing here. So John in this position is not getting any theta role from happened. Instead, happened just takes a proposition. And we know this because we can stick an expletive in there. Like, it happened to be raining. It happened to be a bad day. Now, of course, produce the film is different because if we say it happened to produce the film, then it has some theta role. Because it happened to produce a film, you know that it is someone, which is interesting. But this happened can also take an expletive. So we know that there's no theta role for John. In fact, it looks like John came from produce, moved all the way up into the TP that is above happened. Now, why can we do this? Well, let's take a look at this. John happened to produce the film. And we say that John is in the spec VP of produce. So it is the agent of produce. So now it's getting a theta role. We have accusative case on the verb produce that goes to the film. So that checking is good. But let's just move John up to spec TP like we normally do, because that's what we're supposed to do. So let's move it up. And now John ends up in this position. This is an I, and then this becomes a trace down here. So what happens in this position? Well, normally, John is supposed to get nominative case from T, but this is an infinitival too. And the special thing about infinitivals is that they do not carry any case on them. So when there's an infinitival in T, there is no case. There is no nominative case to get. So if John stays in this position, there is no nominative case for John to get, which means that this derivation is bad. Instead, it still needs nominative case. So what does it do? Well, it moves up an entire TP to get nominative case from the previous TP, the previous T. So this T that gives its morphology to happen to make it happened. So now we end up with John up here and this becomes a trace, and this becomes a trace. And now finally, John gets nominative case. So, well, there's a few things going on here. One, the extended projection principle is saying, I need something to be here. Two, John, the DP, is saying, I need case, where do I get it? And the third thing is saying, well, happen doesn't have any theta rules assigned in here, so there's no spec VP. Therefore, there's nothing here that has to move up to spec TP. So where am I going to grab the DP? Well, the nearest DP is all the way down in this embedded clause. So the nearest TP is all the way down here. So it pulls it up to the main clause. And then we get John happened to produce the film. So this is a raising verb. Let's do a couple more. Kate seems to know the solution. So I don't have a tree yet, so let's build this. And let's kind of anticipate where things are going. So this might get a little clumped up. Kate seems to know. Well, seems is present tense. This is minus past. And seems, well, seems is just like happened. It doesn't have any theta roles for a subject. 
So here we have seam, and we have this CP that it takes as a complement, and of course this is a minus Q under C, and we another TP. So to know the solution, well this is an infinitival, so this is two here, and then Kate seems to know the solution. Well, no takes an agent and a theme. So Kate is going to start out as spec BP, and then V is going to be no, and then DP the solution. I'll abbreviate it. So first thing, V has accusative case, and it gives it to the solution. So that's good. Now we have a spec VP moving up to spec DP. So we are going to have some movement here. In fact, let's just draw this in green to make it more clear. So Kate moves from spec VP up to spec TP, and we end up with a trace. Now it needs to get nominative case, but it can't get nominative case because there's this infinite high will two and there's no case there. So it still has to keep moving up and it moves up cyclically to spec TP. And then we're left with another trace here. So Kate ends up at the very top. And then this nominative case in T with this minus pass marker can be given to Kate. So Kate seems to know the solution. And this is good. Now this DP has nominative case. This DP down here has the solution. Uh, Kate is the agent of no. So we know that Kate came from no because there was an agent role given from no. It moved up to spec TP, but there was no case here. So it had to move all the way up to the spec TP of the main clause in order to get nominative case. So that's Kate seems to know the solution. One more example sentence. John seems to appear to dance. Okay, so this is interesting because John is the one dancing, right? So John is somewhere here and then appear is another main verb and then seems is another main verb. So it looks like there was movement quite a few times, two times actually. So there was a TP to dance, there was a TP to appear to dance, and there's this big TP John seems to appear to dance. So I'm going to do some abbreviation here just to fit the tree all the way up here. We know John is going to end up in the TP position, so we can fill that in. And we know this is present, and it's going to get nominative case from the top. So I'm actually going to build this tree from the top down with movement already done, so we can see how we build this. OK, so now we have seams. Well, seams doesn't take an agent theta role, so there's no specifier. So here we have seams, and now it takes another CP. I'm going to just forget about the CP just for space. So I'm putting this as a TP. Note that there totally is a CP there. I'm just for space, not putting it there. Okay, there's a DP, and John is going to move to the spec DP. And it's T bar T, this is infinitival two. And then VP appear also does not take an agent theta role. So we have V bar, we have V, and this is appear. And then appear also takes another CP complement, but I will abbreviate once more with this TP. So we have a DP, and of course, John is going to pass through this DP too at some point. T, T bar, VP, and I'm going to connect this VP up here with this one. So just for space, pretend that that VP is just a continuation. And V bar dance, two goes under T, and then John starts as the agent of dance. Okay, so there's a lot of movement going on. First of all, DP, John needs case. So, well, first of all, it needs to move up to spec TP to get case. So it moves up to specifier of TP, for to dance, but there's an infinitival two, so there's no case. So it moves again up to the specifier TP of to appear. But once again, two infinitival two is in T, it can't get case. So what does it do? It takes a final move up to the spec TP of the main clause where it can finally get nominative case. So we can see there's quite a bit of movement going on. So this 
is a raising verb. And the reason this works is because the theta role is given from the verb, and then it does not encounter another theta role or case until the very top of the main clause. So there's no theta role on appear for the subject, and there's no theta role on seems for the subject. And this is why raising verbs work. In the next video, we'll take a look at control verbs, which work slightly differently. So if you have any questions about these, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them the best that I can.